So you have an Amazon Fire TV stick and it feels slow or not smooth enough to your remote input. Here is how you can make it faster. I'm using a Fire TV stick second gen running Fire OS 5 and with this guide will work with all Fire TV devices running Fire OS 5. So let's begin. Say hello to custom launchers. Yes, they have existed for a long time on Android smartphones, but they do exist on TV platforms as well. There are three different launcher options you can choose from. I'm going to be focusing on how to get them installed and set them as default. Now, depending on the Fire OS version you're running, you need to download the launcher manager from the XDA article that I've linked in the description down below. I'm using Fire OS 5 on my Amazon Fire TV Stick 2nd gen which is about two years old, so I'm going to choose the version 1.0.6. Then I need to download apps to Fire TV from the Play Store to push all the applications that we download to, to the TV. You will also need to download the launcher itself. There are three well-known options. So there is ATV launcher, then there is Leanback launcher, and the last one is Wolf launcher. I'm going to be using Wolf launcher for this video but the steps remain the same for either or. I've linked all three launchers down in the description for you to choose from. You also need to download this APK called Fire TV Toolbox, which has to be installed on your Android smartphone, not on your Fire TV stick. It will help execute some ADB commands that would otherwise be tedious to enter manually on the TV. Once you have all the files on your smartphone, and the app installed, let's go to your Fire TV. Go to settings and enable debugging and install apps from unknown sources toggle. Now on your phone, you can use apps to Fire to search for your Fire TV stick on your network. So make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network with your Android phone and the Fire TV. You can also go to My Fire TV to see your current IP address to point directly to it. Once you find it, click connect and your TV will display this prompt which you can say select always allow and then press OK. So you don't have to constantly press OK again and again. Now on your phone, copy all the downloaded APKs to this folder using the file explorer. I'm using solid explorer but you can use your own whichever one you like. Now go to apps to fire and click on this upload button and start with the launcher manager and click on install. You may need to rename some files because they have a lot of characters that would normally not be accepted by ADB. So I have simplified it by renaming it to LM, which means launcher manager, etc. While you're at it, also install the launcher of your choice. I'm going to select Wolf Launcher and that brings us to the last step. Open the Fire TV Toolbox app on your phone which you should have installed before and make sure to close apps to fire for this to work. Now click on go where it says set up launcher manager and that should auto launch the launcher manager on this TV and you should get these two things green. If one of them is red you can try that again you can also try uninstalling but if you followed the guide correctly it should all go green. Now just click on default launcher and select the one you installed. I'm going to select wolf launcher and bam, look at that. Also check the box that says launcher detection, nice and clean UI with apps that you need and hide away all the ads and the promotional stuff that Amazon wants to sell you. Now when you press the home button, it should default to the custom launcher. If it doesn't, then you might need to find an updated version of the launcher and you can follow this XDA thread for updates regarding compatibility with various Fire OS's as well as Android TV. Here's a bonus thing you can do to make it seamless every time if you keep your Fire TV plugged in all the time. Go to My Fire TV and find your IP address. Now download this ADB installer and wait for it to install. Now type in the following commands to connect ADB space connect then your IP address. You'll see the authorization window on your Fire TV again because this will be coming from your PC, not your phone like before. Select always allow, press yes and continue. 
then type adb shell settings put secure sleep timeout zero and then for the final command adb shell settings put system screen off timeout two one blah 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 now your fire tv stick will not go blank and close your apps if you pause and go for a quick break which in turn also prevents it from defaulting back to the default launcher so i highly recommend you do it if you're using fire os 6 then it becomes very easy to install you can follow the same guide except for the fire tv toolbox you can skip that and rest of it stays the same apart from the files which you can get from the relevant links in this xda forum you can actually disable the built-in launcher in fire os 6 but in fire os 5 unfortunately you are not allowed to do that because the network debugging depends on that there is also a version for google and android tv boxes if you need it drop a thumbs up and let me know down below if you want to see a dedicated video on that let me know which launcher is your favorite and if you like the default amazon one and are happy with it anyway guys smash that like button if this video helped you consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell and thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one cheers